give the Lord some praise in this place. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. That's fantastic. Now feel comfortable. Salute every one of you. Thank you very much for making it here. Of course, this is another fantastic edition of your favorite program on TV, the fourth edition. My name is Fifi Folson, and for this season, I will be your host. Of course, four years ago, TV3 thought it wise to put together this beautiful platform so we could encourage the studying of the Word of God. Obviously, the Bible says, to train the child the way he should go, so when he grows, he will not depart from it. This is a good platform. If you're excited about it, Put your hands together one more time. Thank you. And you all look fantastic. That's right. Well, quickly, I want just to go say hi to faculty. We have a fantastic uh, father over there. Put your hands together for Reverend Dr. John Abedekwashi, lecturer at Trinity Theological Seminary, senior pastor, Legon Interdenominational Church. Man of God, how are you doing? Okay, welcome to the season, however. Alrighty. Well, guess what? For this season, we're going to have a good time. I can promise you that one. And uh, one of the things that excites me is the fact that we are going to learn a lot. Of course, these contestants are coming through with something fantastic that will bless all of us. So you just stick and stay. Let's have a good time. The fourth edition is probably brought to us by Tobinko Pharmaceuticals, distributors of Lonet for effective treatment of malaria. Sasso insecticides, spray and coil, Kum Tum Tum Preco. Vita B12 Globin for everyday strength distributed by Biotic Pharmacy. Priority insurance, we are on your side. Yomi Yogurt, always different, truly different. Club Mineral and Abbey National Savings and Loans, your key to easy banking. Put your hands together for the sponsors. Well, to continue with the program, we are going for a beautiful time with the word coming from the Bible. Guess who is bringing it? Would you help me welcome on stage the first runner up for season three, King Josiah Akwete? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our first Bible reading will be taken from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 23 to 25. I'm reading from the NIV Bible. It reads, do what seems best to you, Elkanah, her husband, told her. Stay here until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord make good his word. So the woman stayed at home and nursed her son until she had weaned him. Verse 24, after he was weaned, she took the boy with her, young as he was, along with a three-year-old boo, an ephah of flour and a skin of wine and brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh. Verse 25. When they had slaughtered the bull, they brought the boy to Eli. Amen. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you may, my love.
together for yourselves. Of course, this is season four of your favorite program on TV, The Pulpit, The Pulpit on TV3, Fast and News, Best in Entertainment. My name is Phoebe Folson, and for this season, I will be your host. Of course, the program is brought to us, Cat C, Tobinko Pharmaceuticals, Distributors of Lonet for Effective Treatment of Malaria, Sasso Insecticide Spray and Coil, Kum Tum Tum Preko. Vita B12 Globin for everyday strength distributed by Biotech Pharmacy. Priority insurance, we are on your side. Yomi Yogurt, always different, truly different. Club Mineral and Abbey National Savings and Loans, your key to easy banking. Come on, let's show them some love. Put your hands together for the sponsors. That's right. Right about now, we take our first break, but taking us off is... This beautiful ministration. Would you please appreciate this beautiful choir? Eternal praise minstrels all the way from Pentecost Church. Let's do this. Put your hands together. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fourth edition of your favorite program on TV, The Pulpit, The Pulpit. Obviously, I said from the beginning, Bible makes us understand that you train the child the way he or she, better still, should go. So when they grow, they will not depart from it. I think this is a good initiative. Put your hands together for TV3. That's right. Now... Let's quickly acknowledge our sponsors again. Tobinko Pharmaceuticals Distributors of Lonet for Effective Treatment of Malaria, Sasso Insecticide Spray and Coil, Kum Tum Tum Preco, Vita B12 Globin for Everyday Strength distributed by Biotech Pharmacy, Priority Insurance, we are on your side, Yomi Yogurt, always different, truly different, Club Mineral, and Abbey National Savings and Loans, your key to easy banking. Come on, show them some love. Thank you. Next on the program is another Bible reading, and to do this is a former contestant of the Puppet, the Puppet, season three. Please help me welcome on stage, God's Way Obro Boateng. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From the New International Version. Our second scripture reading will be taken from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 19, reading from verse 13 to 15. And I read, Then little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked, them, but the disciples rebuked those who brought them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to su such as this. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. This is the word of God. Amen. Oh, come on. Put those hands together. 
You're still watching the pop and life on TV3, first in news, best in entertainment. Again, thank you for staying tuned. Well, next is an awesome time you're going to have better still to listen to the word of God for today. Guess who is bringing it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I see some smiles on your faces? That's right. And with your hands ready to jump, help me welcome on this pulpit, the winner for pulpit season three. Ladies and gentlemen, God's love and sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. Thank God for today. And in fact, I'm most honored to be invited to preach as the winner of last year's pulpit show. Amen. Amen. Please let's pray. Father, your children are before you to listen to your word. May you grant us your understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bibles to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 to 17. But because of time, we will be reading the verse 16 alone. A train in every Nyanko Pon Humimu, Nayaman Tre Tre, Atene, Atanatene. Hallelujah. Children are very special people to God. And Timothy and Anna Lois, and any mammy Yunis, and who ya, or Rita so say, one of them dear Bia or Betumiae, Saw of Wono, Edia Boy Timotino, or Bay. On a mefutuo, Cassatre, and Tetia, and in a mere sum so, et retreat Timothy, and my own who ye in ya say, or Baba Tatras some who, as soon do ye, a tre a full fro, no what's not dear was yano, a mo. As a loving and nurturing parent, it's your responsibility to encourage your children and teach them Christian principles for them also to obtain and embrace good things in the Lord. For the Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. And if he grows, he will not depart from it. And this leads me to my theme, teaching your children Christian principles. Amen. What is teaching? Si a country chua, a ya dream him and end him de bea or be wo no no so e de mobi. Nasa Bible eka centre chua. Nene se ye nam Christo kwain so e de ye ye nim ana ye swe hunu ebe tre tre ye ma ana fu fro nyam son papa kwain. Ama won so e hunu Christo na wana brabo as a Christo. Amen. Timothy mame e tre tre no. Even though the Bible did not talk about Timothy's father showing any responsibility as the father towards the son. And the mother also did not see it as an excuse. And ka se, e nyo ba e ne tete ba beri ma. Ant na ho ame Timothy abra bo an se. Ne mom o si inkete e din tre tre papa. A te ye ni atinatine eti ti timoti. Ne mana brabo e sinu ye. Because the Bible says all scriptures is God breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So that men of God may be equipped for every good work. Hallelujah. Timothy dina brabo pa e ye na wufunum suba pa edi. E wo mu se Timothy so e hunu ne manti bremu akono enso odwane ne manti bremu akono no e tsman tre tre mu e yi suban pe di e de tre na busua ofri mu sana mi nua no ma sana mi mu nua mi jina he ya me ne mo ka sei me di ahobrase e jin tre tre e tsna mu no ene 
pulpit as a summer bravo. My young shall so am a nipper be no. I say, be a crying, am a new nipper at it you, Eddie Shiamu. And it is summer, a warm crown pope, and I say, A Santa Hine or Toko Corso, now say to me, name the Busia, a cochiano. Some of the radio stations and big churches and so they invite me on their programs. Next week, Kim Po, me koye program, e watafo Methodist, kumase. Enti, me nyo anuma 2014 yi, mwe nyo akwenya, e wo pulpit, jume diye yi muno. Mesre se, mwo mani nye se, aken siye bi keke, e na mwaba. Ne mwo, diye ye be chure mwo, na mwo be sunyano. Mwo nshe se, mwo be tinem, na mwo nso, mwo diya bobra. Ne nye nsun suan suwa papa, e wo mufiye, Any more potter moon in a hallelujah. As parents, what should we do? We must give our children sound foundation for their children to be able to live in Christian principles. They need to have sound foundation. And take a Bible say, Trouble from a choir on Faso, Naso, Nina, when free home. Say, and I will follow Muka, sorry, and sister Mujaya will feel hallelujah. Sometimes parents must involve in their children's activities. Say the abaya, who be unu say the amu try e no. Say pe 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 e na e yo. Abu ame finish ni. Dem re minu ya hana otsa kano. Mesre say say ya wu funum. Mu bri mu mo jeni. Enyeska si si adai akesi akesi e. E di jaye na se mo anfe Christo an kanu aman ye na. No kwasem ni se na mo di enshamo. Ne mo se mo di Christo efra si e ete ti e e ma ye unu papa eni bwane ni e Christo pe eni ni e Christo pa eno e ni ansu ansu papa e mo ye ansu hallelujah. Efra se e japa di e kesi a oba time e be tumi di e jani ba na ti na hoda eni se o di na mi som papa e be ti ti ni ma. Ama wa hunu kristo. If it's a Bible say. So ni pa. Ene resi e japa diye ni na. No a shwe ne kwa. En fa suwa bayi. En lo bina. Ne se enti. Me fa sa akwe nye iso. Me po TV3 edu me kwa ni ni na abaso. En kan kan. Puppet production team. Our sponsors. Faculty and groomers. Sa akwe nye biso. Ene TV3 fwa. Afato wa unho so. No nam so. Why am I afraid to be? I know. At the time, I try try. I think. Am I a bravo? Any in casa? I do me this as I am. I buy in society. I na baby a yetimu. Ene ya mu binum ya baya shaswa ameni pa bebre. Ebi shaya in esunya ye. About time bebre e shasha se e radia dom wa maybe e baya se ye. Nenso kai se. E ye binum e ju maden e ne di ye mubi a be ju se. E nti, me koutou misre religious bodies. E nsore, nsore, an kre, an kre, e ni nou me koua e radia dom mo. Na mou kwa e radia ju me mou a tinkan pa se. Mou nja me re TV3. Na mou nso wa nasne e wa sa a pulpit ju me di ye yu mou. In terms of sponsorship. Na mou nfan se wa nkwain. Na wan kwa so, en fa pulpit ju me diye yi so. En mwa mo fra, en chi wan fri riasi ya kono bwane. E drama yi sem, am robri, en ni niye, e ke kan wu. E fri se, en peni fwa se, sa asumri fi, e jwa, en o krama yi so. E ni adabre. E radin shwa mo, nan adbe, e mwa se mwa. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for come on. Go, I need to talk to you. Alright. Thank you very much. Would you please celebrate this gift? Come on. Put your hands together for her. Wow. God's love and son. You did fantastic. They should do well. I see that win. I see a crown for Mumbo Munse Mano. That was fantastic. Now, I'm going to keep you here briefly to ask you some few questions. How do you feel? I feel very excited because the way 
where God has brought me is very, very good. I thank God that he's using me at this tender age. Amen. I like that. At this tender age. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 13 years old. 13. Put your hands together for her. All right. So, last year, you were crowned the winner. Tell me, what are some of the things you've done ever since you won? Life after pulpit has been very, very excited. Exciting. As I was saying, many people now respect me. I've gained respect in the society and also big churches, radio stations have wow. been inviting me to certain programs and I really appreciate it. All the thanks be to God. Amen. Put your hands together for that. I see. All right. Now, I, I wouldn't want to take much of your time, but this year, some other contestants are coming on. What would be your advice for them? What would you want to tell them to encourage them as well? My little advice for them is that they should avoid laziness, but rather they must work very hard because Paul Pitt is a reality show that doesn't tolerate laziness. If oh, yeah. you are lazy, then <laughs> you can All right. Thank you very much. Put your hands together. Now you can go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, just smile. I like that. <laughs> well, the program continues, and guess what? We're going to get into the official launch of season four. I want you to appreciate the band one more time, the choir, Eternal Praise Minstrels. Wow. Having done that, I want you also to help me welcome on stage the Chief Commercial Officer, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Augustine Boachiadom. Put your hands together for him as he comes on to officially launch season four of the pulpit. Come on, keep on clapping, keep on clapping. That's right. Good evening to you all. Distinguished invited guests, parents, contestants, our cherished viewers at home, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this evening gathering. We are here to launch season four of TV3's gospel reality show, The Pulpit. TV3, in fulfilling the scriptures, which says, train up the child the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. Matthew, sorry, Mark 6, 15 says, Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. I want to emphasize that the pulpit gospel reality show was conceived to train our children and the youth in the way that they have to work in the word of God. To give them platform to preach the word of God with confidence and in style. To shape the moral uprightness of our children and viewers using the Bible as the standard. To inspire our viewers that there is hope for Ghana's youth and the world at large. This year, children between the ages of 10 and 14 were addiction in different venues, namely Kumasi, Takradi, and Accra. In the end, 12 contestants were selected for the show. We are confident from the auditions that the 12 selected contestants will give off their best to make this season's show the most powerful an inspiring one. I want to thank parents, guardians who have presented their awards to this show. However, I want to remind you that there are evictions which are often hard for these kids and therefore I need your support in easing the pain when they are evicted. To our sponsors who have supported us throughout this program when it was uh, conceived. And the new entrants who are here to join us, we say a big thank you. Finally, I wish to acknowledge our fellow 
media houses who are with us today to launch this program. And to our contestants, I wish to say that go there, do your best, enjoy yourself as you participate in the competition. On this note, I declare the pulpit four duly launched. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. Thank you. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Thank you very much. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. The pulpit, the pulpit. This is the way. So season four has been duly launched. Put your hands together. Well, I can tell from the look on your faces that you want to know who the contestants are for this year. Is that right? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to officially link to the contestants who made it to season four of definitely this program, The Puppet. So we start with Greater Accra. Hmm. Let's go. Check it. Say yes to Christo wa send your own who cra or Joe Binkwa. Then naturally say on to me John Kawa Mla was only a few own fruit. The Bible describes seeking God's first as putting his work first. When you don't think about what you are going to lose at that particular time, but when you go in accordance with what God tells you. If we call ourselves Christians, which means Christ life, then we have to portray that agape love. With Jesus Christ show to us. God spoke to Jeremiah and said, Before you were even born, I chose you to be my prophet. Jeremiah answered, I can't. I'm not a good speaker. Besides, I'm too young. A blessed man is one who does not walk in the advice of the wicked. So these definitely are the contestants for Greater Accra Origin. You have seen them uh, pretty much on that board. I want you to see them one on one. Is that okay? So I, I want to welcome here on stage. Can Marvin or Wusu or someone join me on stage from backstage? Come on. Okay. All right, Marvin. All right, stay here with me. Let's get uh, Ernest Asante. Pell now a day. I'll put you together for Pell as she joins us. Etonama Faith Awani. Put your hands together for her. Kofi Jabate Asante. All right. So here they are. Let, let me just do this quickly. Um, Marvin also someone, can you just wave to them again? Marvin is from Exhibition Assemblies of God and he's 11 years old. Come on, put your hands together. Wave at them for me again. All right. So you can now go back and say thank you. NS Asante is from St. Nicholas Mission Chapel. He is 14 years. All right. Pell now Ade is from Royal House Chapel International and she's 12 years old. Etonam Faith Awaniv is from Witness Chapel International. She's 12 years old. And then we have Kofi Jabate Asante from Church of Pentecost of Shaman, official town. He's 12 years old. Thank you. Put your hands together for the contestants from Greater Accra region. All right. This season's edition promises to be very interesting. Now, from Greater Accra region, can we now check out what's up at Kumase? That's right. Put your hands together. Brandi Kodemo sko yesu nchenu wa shishye sika. Wa shishye vya siye wunya diye. Ne mo mbae bo chese o shishye ne mkwa diye chidi kwa yin. As Christians, let us learn from Job not to sin with our lips or our actions. 
But rather, stand firm during our temptation moments. Yes, to Christ, not all who were at the end of the world. So, I'm going to ask you, 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 I'm going how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? 70 times 7. It doesn't necessarily mean 70 times, but rather means always forgive without even keeping track of the number of times. They wanted the Philippians to rejoice because of their divine position, and that is, they are in Christ, and Christ is in them. They are in Christ who never fails. They are in Christ who knows all things. They are in Christ who created all things. That was Osekrum. Can I have them join me right here on stage? Put your hands together for them, people. All right. So, Osekrum contestants, don't worry. All of you just come up on stage for me, please. Put your hands together for them. Elimelech, Edubo Four, Efriye, Edwin, Vena, Obeng, Amanda, Jehu, Janet, Osei, Evans, Asiedu. From Osekrum, go right in front for me. Go right in front for me. That's right. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, beautiful. Um, line up well so they can see all of you. Can you, can you just move yet for me? All right. I like the fact that some of you came with your Bibles. <laughs> all right, so from a sacrum, when I mention your name, you wave at them. A little like a double four, a free year from Bible Baptist Church, Harvest Temple, Cronum. He's 10 years old. Edwin Venner Oping from Presby Church of Ghana, 14 years old. That's right. Amanda Jehu, Church of Pentecost, Kronum District, 13 years. That's right. Janet Osei, Resurrection Methodist Church, she's 12 years old. And Evans Asiedu, Church of Pentecost, Old Tafel, 13 years. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and wish you all the best. Can you please go backstage for us? Show them some love. Come on. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Alrighty. Are you having fun? Yes. Are you being blessed? Yes. The pulpit, the pulpit. Yes, the, the pulpit, the pulpit. Yes, so from Greater Accra to Osekrum, come on, say, we are going all the way to the oil city. Ladies and gentlemen, Takra T. King Saul searched to kill David but never succeeded. David rather had the chance to kill Saul, but he refused to follow the law of an eye for an eye. He rather chose to follow love your enemy as yourself. Every damn walk my mirrors, that's a damn walk my mirrors. It be an adum nibi de bara, hallelujah. What was him? All right, so that's all the way from Takwa Day. And those were your contestants. Can I please have them join me on stage? Michael, SL, and James Wright Edmondson. Please put your hands together for them. Go right in front there for me. Okay, all righty, <laughs> two strong men. Well, Michael Esel, he's from St. John Baptist Catholic Church and he's 11 years old. Can you wave to the crowd? Can you just wave at them, wave, can you wave for me? All right, beautiful. James Wright Edmondson from Maranatha AOG, that's Assemblies of God Church and he is 10 years old. So this year we have got two 10 year olds in this program. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Can you now go backstage? Put your hands together for them. <laughs> the pulpit, the pulpit. Hey. Are you being blessed? Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
it all comes down to love. Oh, 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 can we try that? One, two, three, go. Oh, 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 oh. it all comes down to love. Oh, it's all about the love of God. Thank you very much. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's all about the love of God. Me loving you, you loving me, that's all about it. Many thanks for staying in tune. It's the season four of your favorite program, The Pulpit, right here on TV3, Faster News, Best in Entertainment. The Pulpit, The Pulpit. The Pulpit, The Pulpit. The pulpit. This is the way. All right. Like you know, in every game, there are rules and regulations. Of course, you need to stick to it so you can get to the top. Here, we're going to have our main faculty member join us. And I'm talking about the very Reverend Dr. John Abedukwashi, lecturer at Trinity Theological Seminary, senior pastor, Legon Interdenominational Church. He's going to spell it out. Rules and regulations for the pulpit season four. Would you please help me welcome on stage? Come on, put your hands together for Reverend Dr. To John, I beg the question. Come on, keep on clapping. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a pleasure to speak to you at this time. And before I spell out the rules, let me say that this morning I was blessed to be in two services in my church. And I was blessed with two great preachers who expounded the pure, unadulterated word of God. One of the preachers began with a story, and I want to share the story with you because it talks about preaching. The story is about a group of Christians who traveled to another country to do some missionary work. And when they were going, Friends and loved ones recommended certain churches and pastors to them that if you go, you can visit this church, you can listen to this pastor. So Sunday morning, they were in church A, listening to preacher A. And after the service, they were all excited and lively because they enjoyed the sermon. The sermon was simply great. Astounded, one of them passed a remark, and this was the remark. What a sermon. Preacher A is the best preacher around. Everyone must listen to him. Then Sunday evening, they were in church B to listen to preacher B. Compared to preacher A, preacher B wasn't so eloquent. And the delivery was not as stupendous. And after the service, there was no sense of excitement in the air as they had in the morning. But most people wore a reflective look. Members just exchanged the usual greetings over time and they left for their homes. Then one of the missionaries remarked in a contemplative manner, what a sermon. Jesus must be the best savior around. Everyone must hear of him. Now listen to the two comments. The first one, what a sermon. Preacher A is the best preacher around. Everyone must listen to him. The second comment, what a sermon. Jesus must be the best savior around. Everyone must hear of him. What will be your judgment? Which of, the preacher, which of these two preachers made an impact? Friends, preaching is not about eloquence and about projecting ourselves. Preaching is about proclaiming the Lord Jesus as he has revealed in the Bible. And that is why Bernard Manning has defined preaching as the manifestation of the incarnate word from the written word by the spoken word. And so when we assess sermons on the part of the faculty, when we assess sermons, we do not just look for the person who is eloquent. It is to find out whether the person has adequately manifested the Christ whose testimony we find in the Bible. And the person has done that from the passage they have chosen to speak from. Again, preaching is not, it's not about having an idea and then roaming through the Bible to find justification for that idea. But unfortunately, that is the experience we find on many of our pulpits today. People have an idea 
and then they from the idea they go to the bible to find out what they can get from the bible to support and to justify that idea that is not what preaching is about and i've also had people say i did not come to preach i came to give you a revelation thank god for your revelation i don't need that revelation the bible is god's revelation to humankind and what preaching is about is declaring and explaining what the bible says and that is all that preaching is about and so when we sit as faculty when we sit, sit to assess sermons we do not just look for how eloquent you are you may not be eloquent you may not be able to express yourself very well but what we find out is whether you have been able to portray from the scriptures this jesus that we are preaching about and so for the contestants please listen to me very carefully and i do believe that we have people who are training us we do not assess the sermons in an arbitrary manner we have a clear cut criteria by which we assess the sermons and the first criteria is that your sermon must be very clear the message you are bringing about must be clear and we must understand it clearly and in fact that takes 25 marks the second is that you must be faithful to the tests that you are preaching from don't read a test and then go and preach from another text because preaching is is what explaining a portion or portions of scripture and so when you read from a test what we are looking for is whether you stayed in the test and you brought out the ideas the principles from the text and that is very important that is also 25 marks and then the third is were you able to relate the tests the principles from the test were you able to relate it to our lives today how relevant were you were you able to apply the message in the test to our lives in this contemporary world that is 25 marks and then we come to minor minor things like delivery which is 10 marks organization which is 10 marks and then your appearance which is five marks so the key things are whether you were clear whether you were faithful to the bible tests and whether you were relevant each of them is 25 marks and so far the people who have been training our young ones we are praying that you will listen to this and make sure that in preparing the sermons you will help them so that they will bring out they will bring out what the scripture is saying the principles must come from the scripture you don't begin from a principle before you go to the scripture you begin from the scripture before you derive certain principles from the scripture and then you apply those principles to our lives today and if you do that you can go far several people have seen me ever since pulpit started and then they have really appreciated the work we are doing some people claim to me that they they get their notebooks whenever it is time for pulpit and then they take notes and especially what the faculty would say because it helps them to shape their own preaching and i believe that this is what is going to happen this is in four also it will be a learning experience not only for the children but for those who are listening is to be a learning experience for the preachers people who have been standing sunday after sunday on the pulpit to declare the word of god and we are praying that through this experience we are going to help us get preachers who are faithful to the word of god preachers who preach who divide the word of god in an adequate manner for the understanding of the people and i'm trusting that we are going to have an exciting time with the lord and the people who are training who are training the children let me tell you this it is said that the best way to learn is to teach and so even as you teach the children you are learning and i trust that you yourselves will become great preachers to all our audience to those of us in the studio may god bless you how can i leave without saying hi to our two groomers apostle little pastor nasi god bless you for the good work you are doing and we are praying that you continue to groom these children so that through our collective effort we'll raise up great preachers in this land people who will not just come and tell stories but people who will declare the unfaltering word of god to us so that we will trust and believe the word and then transformation will take place in our land god bless you 
and we'll see you in the next 10 weeks. God bless you.